Hi, beautiful souls. I'm Ginny. And today I'm going to share with you a brief tapping sequence on grief and the holidays. Sometimes grief can feel enormous over holidays. We might be missing somebody. We might be missing something. Often people do spend holidays with people that they love. So when that person is no longer physically present, it can have an effect on their ability to enjoy the holiday. So let's do a little tapping on that. We're going to come to the side of the hand and tap grief. Tap on the seam part of the body that I'm tapping on and repeat after me, grief. I'm really missing my person. Fill in the blank. Maybe it's not a person. Maybe it's a pet. Maybe it's a lifestyle. Maybe it's a home, anything. What are you missing? I am missing my person. I am open to the possibility that I have the courage to experience this grief in a gentle way. I am the only person that knows my whole story and knows my relationship with what I am grieving. My relationship with the person I'm missing. I honor that I have that information and that I know how to grieve and that there is absolutely no hurry. I'm open to the possibility that I can evolve these feelings. Shake the hands out. Come to that space between the eyebrow and the bridge of the nose. Grief. Side of eye. Grief. I am really missing. Fill in the blank. Under the eyes. I am really missing sharing space with my person. Under the nose, I feel grief. I feel some sadness. I feel a little fear. Chin, I feel a little anger. collarbone, and I feel such gratitude for the experience that I had with the person or thing that I am now grieving. Under the arms, grief is a natural process. Space between the eyebrow and the bridge of the nose. I know how to call in the right people to support me in my grief. Side of eyes. I'm taking my time. Grief takes as long as it takes. Under the eye. And it looks a little different each day. Under the nose, I'm honoring that my grief is my grief. It looks the way it looks. It includes the emotions that it includes. Chin, I'm open to the possibility that I can have the courage 
to look at these various emotions as I feel ready. Collarbone, tap all around that space. I'm open to the possibility that these emotions may evolve and that there is no particular timetable. Under the arm, grief is grief. Some days it's so hard. And some days I find a way to a more gentle space with my grief. Back to that space between the eyebrow and the bridge of the nose, I'm grieving. Side of eyes, I'm grieving differently than the people around me. Under the eyes, I'm doing it perfectly. Under the nose, I'll let other people in when it's time. Chin, I'm going to be selective about who I let in. Collarbone, I'm open to the possibility that as I share my grief and allow others to witness it, that it may begin to evolve or continue to evolve under the arms. This is my story. I have a lot of say in how long this takes and what the process looks like. Eyebrow, gentle. Side of eyes, I choose gentle. Under the eyes, it does not always feel gentle. Under the nose, and that's okay. Chin, I am choosing to call in gentle. Collarbone, this is a process. Grieving is natural. And it takes time. Under the arms, and that is perfect. I'm going to shake out the hands. Let's bring our hands onto the torso. One hand on top of the other. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. I hope you enjoyed this brief tap on grief. Let us know what you would like to see more of.